Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Mini City. This is also the first video that's being recorded on the new computer. As I said when I built the computer, or the video went out on the 1st of January, I said I won't be using it until about halfway through January, which we are now. Everything's all set up. Should be and made it to go. There was one thing that I forgot, which I just fixed, which was to turn the music off. The uh, master volume should be about right. Uh, it's going to take probably uh, just a couple of episodes um, across the channel to get it right. So, like when I'm placing the blocks, it's not so loud that it sort of is louder than my voice. I just need to get that balanced up, but I can't really do that until I hear your feedback. If you think me placing the blocks is too loud, I can turn it down. Um, and if it's fine, don't say anything and we'll leave it where it is. Marvellous. So in our mini city here, every time I come in this world, it always makes me smile at the moment. I don't know why. I think because I know exactly where everything's going to go. And so are you guys going to know where everything's going to go. And it's just so nice to see it in this sort of smaller look. Now, there is some important things missing. For example, the uh, sort of above ground railway or whatever you want to call it is missing. Uh, you know, the, the where the train goes round. Uh, we'll add that at another time. Today, though, I want to work on Rainbow Row. We've got three blocks that is going to be Rainbow Row. We've got one, two, three. Now, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to retexture a block to look like... I think we can possibly fit three houses in one block. Now, Rainbow Row, I think, has a different coloured house. I think it's like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple whatever onwards uh now we've got two choices ah there's a giant chicken in the city we've, we've got two choices number choice number one is we retexture one block to have like red yellow and green something like that and then we use that block three times or we can retexture three blocks to look exactly the same but just with different colored houses so we get the full rainbow row there's pros and cons to all choices Obviously, a big pro is that uh, if we do three blocks, we get all of the different colors for the house. Uh, but the biggest con for using three blocks is we end up using three different blocks that could be used uh, for other things. I reckon for now, we can probably get away with using three blocks because we haven't used like any blocks yet. Uh, and there's still a lot of blocks to go. So I reckon we can do that. And then if we need to, we can always change two of them back do you know what i mean and we change two of them up now after that we're also going to need a carpet we're going to have to retexture a carpet block to look like a normal roof now here in in the mini city we can't get like triangle roofs you know with a with a point on it because you just can't do that in like micro form in vanilla minecraft this is completely vanilla there is no mods at all on this world it's just a texture pack. So we're going to have to use a carpet and make it look like it's got a little bit of shading uh, to look like it's going up and down. It's going to be quite a challenge, but I think a bonus of it is that we're going to be able to use or recycle the roof in a lot of other buildings as well. Like we'll recycle the helipad roof, uh, which is just a carpet, obviously. Uh, on other skyscrapers and on the hospital and stuff like that. So there's a lot of recycling the blocks uh, going on here. So, I suppose we should jump into Photoshop right now, and uh, I'll pull up an old screenshot of Rainbow Row, or, or take a new screenshot so I know what the buildings sort of look like fresh in my mind. Oh, and because my setup has had a bit of a move around, shuffle around, the lighting isn't quite 100% correct yet. I can see a little bit of shadow on this side of my face. I like the light to be like straight on, even though it does blind me. So I'm just looking at the preview now. Uh, so yeah, that needs to be sorted as well. But that'll get sorted in the next few videos. I might keep it. It might be nice. I might like it. I might get, grow to, to like it a little bit more. Uh, not being so bright uh, and everything. Anyway, we're in Photoshop here and I just chose hardened clay. It's just normal hardened clay for this. Now, our texture pack is 32 by 32. And I said that I think we can fit three houses in each area. Each house is very thin and quite tall. That's sort of the design. And if there's 32 pixels wide and we want to fit three houses in, that should work out to be 10 pixels wide for each house with two lines in between. So let's just start off with a black line. Uh, let's scale that down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and that one leaving us, ooh, we should really, uh, hardness, there we go, 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That one leaving us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. So that should be. Ugh. Why is that going so weird? Do I have to do that? All, all these setting changes. Oh no! It's all so different to what I'm used to. <laughs> there we go. Well, that's going to be close enough for the moment. Oh, uh, and there. So, there's our three houses. I reckon that's going to work, work really well. Now, if I bring this down, whoops, this is Rainbow Row, a screenshot of Rainbow Row, uh, at least, from when we first built it. I could look on this screen. And as you can see, we've got a garage with a window above it, with a little roof, and another window above that before the roof starts. Now, we would have to ignore the roof section here. And then on this side that you can't see or you know in between here we have the door with a little bit of a lip and another window above so I reckon we can get something pretty close to that if we grab the red one we make this red and uh, not bright red I'm gonna go just a little bit off like bright bright red uh, so we get a little bit more color going to the thing uh, I'm sure I can make this bright. hold on I'm gonna make this like exactly how I like it. That's okay, I just had to put it on pencil instead of brush. It was a brain fart moment. So, uh, I've got a red house, we've got a blue house, and I think we'll go with the yellow house as well. I think that'll sort of give the impression of Rainbow Row Row. That's not yellow. <laughs> and that's yellow. Now, the black lines in the middle obviously need to change. We don't want to keep them black. So what we're going to do is we're going to change them to a darker version of the colour next to it so it looks like a little bit of shading around the edge of the building so let's get a dark red darker than what it was i'm going to go considerably darker so it does stand out and a darker blue to what we had as well the yellow one we can ignore so that'll be our rainbow row now what we need to do is we need to try and fit it's going to be time we might have to change the design of the house a little bit because we want to have a door and a garage in here but it's going to make the building look very very tall there's nothing really we can do about that. Let's grab a white one and let's say if we squeeze the garage in, I'm going to have to go here, like that. No, that could work. If we'd done the garage four blocks, five blocks wide, four blocks high. So like that, and like that, and here, and there. That would leave us with a door to go here. Now, I'm doing it one block off the ground because, as you said, it needs to have, like, a little stair that goes onto it. This is really cool. This is like building Minecraft. As I've said before, it's like building Minecraft, but from above only. Uh, so, let's get some lighter gray now. We'll get some gray here just to put a little bit of... That's not too much uh, difference, so we might have to darken up the gray a little bit more to get some little bit of shadow on on these white sections otherwise it looks a little bit um, almost missing doesn't it so then we'll have that one and that one ah, yeah yeah that'll work that one and that one that one and that one we missed the light gray in the middle door for the stair the stairs just have uh, they're white stairs that go up to it, but then they sit on a little wooden platform. So I'm going to just do the wooden platform here. So we want a brown, which is a sort of orangey uh, toned color. Eh, around about... Oh, that's not too bad. Or maybe... Yeah, that's like a sprucey uh, style color. Perfect. Yes, 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 yes. And then it has a wooden roof. Uh, it has a quartz roof above it, but we're going to do it wooden. And I'll tone it up a little bit so it stands out. If we use quartz, it's going to be white. It's going to be too much white uh, on the front of the building. Uh, can I fit a little door handle in here, maybe? If we made, like, one of them, like, a darky grey-black thing. I think that'll make it look a little bit more like doors. It looks to be a pretty good scale for a door as well. Two blocks wide, three blocks high. Which, funnily enough, is actually the scale of our doors inside of the game as well, isn't it? That's quite an interesting thing. So we want to have the window above here now, but the window that we have that sits above these um, these garages actually set out by one block as well, don't they? So we need to have a little bit of shadow on there, and we need a lighter red to go onto the back. And then we need the window in the middle, which we'll just do white. Looks a little bit weird at the minute, I promise you that'll all be fixed. So there's that window, we then have, I'm going to do it white quartz above there I'm gonna put the quartz on here as well we'll we'll try and tone it up to look a little bit better oh yeah that does look better 
And then above that we have another window with quartz on the side, like there, and there. Eh, I'll figure that out, there and there, and I might make them three in the middle. And then that's where the roof would be, like that. But at the moment we have a huge amount of space above here. So we've got two choices. We either try and elongate everything and make like, the garage doors taller, or we just put more windows in and make it have like two or three more stories. I think that's what we'll do here on the mini city. So I'm going to do that. I'll do it on all the buildings. I'll add some shading and I should be back. So I want to do another building today if possible. Okay. It actually came out alright. I've done some changes. I changed the window colour to black. I think that helped an awful lot. I moved the windows up a little bit. So all I had to do in the end was add a third window to sort of fill that gap. And I think it looks really cool. I think when we go in game as well, it's going to look totally awesome. Obviously... I still know about the downsides of, or the limitations of using one block to build an entire building. This is going to be on every side of the building. It's not going to matter about the front and the back. And in fact, it's not going to matter on one of the sides because there's going to be multiple buildings next to each other. But however, on the very left side and on the very right side, we're going to have doors. It's not going to look exactly like what we have in the world, but it's going to look relatively similar. I've also opened up, uh, what is this, like light grey, what's the actual word? Silver, apparently. Silver wool is the is the color of it light gray and uh, what i want to do here is i want to make half of it slightly darker than the other to give some shades to, to, to give the appearance like it's got some shading now we should be able to do this by rasterizing that and then i can exposure just drop the exposure down a little bit and that makes it darker without me having to do any work whatsoever so now what we have is we have what looks like uh, a peak from above so I should just be able to save that as well oh I need to save that myself um, we need to save that and uh, and then jump back into the game now at the moment we've only got one house so I tell you what we'll do actually is we'll we'll make another one uh, 32 32 by 32 and we'll grab another clay block and we should, we should be able to just change the colour straight off without having to do really uh, any work. So here's another clay block. We'll zoom in. We'll line it up, not that it matters. And we're going to grab all of that and we're going to paste it over here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab this and we're going to change the hue of it. Which should change just the coloured parts of our house. So now we get an orange, a dark blue and a green one. Or what, you know, what one do we want? Blue, brown, dark blue? Blue, dark blue, green, pink. That's not a bad one. It does change the brown colours, I've just noticed, but we can we can change that. You know, that could work. That one could work. We'll have that. And then I just need to select those. Recolour these up. Brown again. That's pretty sh cheeky, shortcut way of doing things, right? That's pretty cheeky. And we'll grab this one to do these ones here so now we have two blocks and we just need one more one more would be perfect so we'll save that oh i can't save that at the minute i need to save it into the proper location manually and we'll grab this one and we want to change this again what color can we get this time Orange, that's sort of like a lime green. What did we have before? We had that one. So we've got a lot of the colours already done. Orange, blue and green. Yeah, let's go with orange, blue and green then. Okay, and then I need to change the wood again. So, I shall see you back inside the game. Alright, are you ready? <laughs> I don't know if I've even loaded it correctly. We'll take those away. And where have we got them? I saved them under clay. Ah, yes, 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 yes. One, two, and three. Oh, hardened clay's in like an odd place for some reason. Okay, so we've got those three. And then there's the carpet as well, light grey stained clay. So are you ready? Are you ready? Boom. 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 Yes. And stick the carpet on top. And we have ourselves. See, it, it looks like you need to have a little bit of a creative, artistic mind here. But to me, if I go above this, it looks like the roof is lighter on one side, or lighter, darker on this side, and lighter on that side. 
So it gives the impression that there's actually like a peak going up there. It's a real shame that on this side they're actually sort of flipped. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's nothing that I can do about that on the side. It's just like, like carpet takes up a little bit of a block as well. But that looks pretty cool, right? With the little garage doors down there and the windows. That actually... Uh, toggle... I haven't done this for a while. Toggle... Downfall. There we go. Um, it actually does look like Rainbow Row. I'm actually really, really pleased on how that looks, right? That does look pretty cool. Now, as I said, it does happen on the side, but it doesn't look bad. It looks fine with it being on the side. And we do have windows and doors on the back anyway. Uh, so that works. Behind here is, I think, just fountains, isn't it? Fountains and stuff out the back here. I'm pretty sure. I don't think we have anything else, at, at, at least not at the minute, out here. And then we've got the uh, warehouses with the car park at the front. And then this spot is the police station. I'd really like to do the police station today, but there's some prob... Oh, hang on. I'll also... Uh, uh, during editing, I'll try and put a picture of Rainbow Row up on screen as well. I think you guys know what it looks like, but if I remember, I'll put it on so uh, we will sort of get some sort of look to it. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, now, the police station is an odd building because the police station is actually shaped like that. Like that, isn't it? This part being the lowest where the door is, this part having the helipad on it, and this part being the tallest. Now, we can only do one block that's the challenge of this series so we're gonna have to change up the design a little bit but i am gonna jump into photoshop i do want to do one more building uh, this episode with it so i'm gonna jump into photoshop i'll load up the pol i'll find a screenshot of the police station and we'll have a go at that now we already have the roof we'll just use the helipad roof uh, for this so yeah i should be back okay this is going to be the trickiest one of the episode the police station i've got i found a screenshot of when we first built it here it is and our main problem like i just mentioned is that it's three tiers high the middle tier being the tallest the right hand tier being sort of middle height and the third tier or the left tier being the shortest now here we're gonna have to actually make everything all the same height because we're fitting it all into one block as you saw in the world even we only had a one block space to do it so it's not like that we can make this building two or three blocks large even though two or three blocks isn't a lot we physically won't be able to fit it in to the world so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to pretend that all of these are the same height and we, we make it as if it was one big giant square i think that we can do that and get away with it i think so so i've got uh it was yellow i just made it silver because that's what the the oh no i lost a stupid picture <laughs> Um, I think I can memorize it. What we have is we I, I, I looked I had a good look at it first What we need to do first is make the thick beam in the middle Like this and then we want to have I'm gonna leave five blocks of room and I'm gonna do a smaller one here and here The building had a large pillar in the middle and then one smaller pillar on either side For the windows to then go in the middle which would go in right uh, we want to do them three by three. One, and they're three windows high. Two, and three, like that. Then what we want to do is have a door. The door goes here. And I think I can shade up a little bit of darkness on there as well. For, for a little bit of color. We then need to get the checkerboard pattern that went along the bottom here. I think we could probably, if I went right there, no, if I go one block up on that. So we put a little one pixel tall checker box pattern that goes along here. This is gonna be perfect because it actually starts on white and ends on black, which means this checkerboard pattern is gonna like follow around the entire building really well. And then what we want to have is the garage door. I just had to think then. Uh, let's get a little bit more of a darker blue. That's better for the for the underpass part of it. Like that. Let's get some shading on there. We'll get some darker, darker than that. There we go. And I think that's pretty good, right? That looks like a, a garage door. Uh, we want another window over here 
Do I want it there or do I want it there? I think I want it there. And we have one window here and one window here. But this middle section doesn't actually exist on the lower part of the building because there's a roof, a slanted roof that we need a darker gray to do that goes up here. Like that. I'm going to hang it over the edge as well. So let's color this up. Get rid of that. And that's this part is actually meant to be out further than the tower part behind it. But obviously we've only got one scale here or, or one perspective. So we're going to have to do that. And I think it looks pretty cool. Now what we want to do is I think... You know, I could... I could make these pillars a little bit thicker, which I think I want to do. And then move the windows in by one block each. So we move that window in by one. And this window in by one. And then just color up the sides. I think that will look a little bit better. A little bit more like the building that we've got. Okay. Then what we need to do is actually make these sections on this side. Can I, can I grab a color so you guys can see? On this side and this side darker. Because it's a two-tone building with the greys. So we need to get a darker grey. That's perfect. That's that's going to work really, really well. I can't use the fill tool. The fill tool does not work on such a small 32 by 32 bit scale. So you sort of have to colour in each row like this. But because it's only like a few of them, it doesn't really matter. Like that. And this. Obviously for the ceiling, for the roof, we're just going to stick down the uh, helipad on top which is what the police station has and then on here we just have a bunch of windows now it would only be one window tool on the actual building on the real city world it would be about here and then that's where the top of the building would be and then on this side it's sort of up here and it would end up there but because we're trying to fit this or we're trying to we're having to fill an entire block up with this we're gonna have to center this and make it so it goes all the way to the ceiling which isn't actually going to look terrible so we'll have black one i want to keep them in line with the other windows if possible i think it'll just make make it look a lot more even won't it see that's a little bit too low that one so we'll shove that up and i'll color that part in in a second we want this one this one this one and this one okay let's give that final little bit of color on here and i think that's going to work really well it actually still has the appearance of a police station sort of color scheme uh while also using up the full blocks we can't do the tiered system so let's now get a little bit of shading on this we can get a little bit of a darker gray to whip round the bottom here i'm actually going to change up this to be even darker Oops, not like that. So we'll get some darker grey on here. Let's get an even darker one to split this roof up. Like that. We're going to need to have a darker light grey. To go around here. I wish I'd stop doing that. I'm holding down control for too long. And here. Now hopefully this will sort of give... Uh, more of the impression that it's it's three-dimensional uh, that one and that one that makes the door sort of blend in too much so I tell you what we're gonna do on this one. we're gonna make the door just white I think the building can get away with that we want a lighter gray to do the other flip side like this up this one underneath these this is such an important step people often uh forget to do this but as you can see just adding a few lighter touch uh, a few lighter and a few darker touches it makes the building look so much more interesting so then we get the lighter darker gray <laughs> does that make sense the lighter darker gray to go like that and boom we have a pretty cool looking police station here Let's save this and stick it straight. Well, I did save and stick it straight into Minecraft. 
All right, I'm just loading up the tissue pack again. I have no idea. I, I still don't know if I 100% love this series. I I love it inside of me. Uh, hit done first. I like it inside of me. Like I like the, the, the idea on how it's all going to look in my head. But we're so limited on space. Like at the moment, I'm very, very happy with it. But I think as the series progresses, we might come across some more problems. So we want clay, which is down here. There's the police station. It already looks good. And boom. Now that's not bad. I'm actually really happy with that. Hey. There's the police station. With the helipad sitting on top. No. See, that's what that's what really gets me with this series. When I'm in Photoshop and I'm looking at it and I'm building it uh, or painting it, I'm like, is this going to work? Is this going to look good inside of Minecraft? And a part of me goes, yeah, it will work because you've done it before. You've, you, or, you, know, not, you haven't done the exact building before, but you've textured things before. And, half, and then the other half of me goes, but it doesn't look that great. It looks okay, but it doesn't look that great. And I'm like, it doesn't matter. Let's just go for it. So we do it. We load it up in Minecraft. And then it looks so cool. Like the police station looks fantastic. Rainbow Row looks fantastic. The skyscraper looks amazing. And the road, the road layout, I, I just don't understand why in Photoshop it doesn't look all that great. And then as soon as you put it into Minecraft... Suddenly it all clicks to place, clicks into place, and just works. It's so strange. Anyway, that's all I've got time for this episode. I think next episode we might work on the airport. Uh, that could be pretty cool. We could use two blocks, or maybe just one block. We might have to. Yeah, no, we should be able to get two blocks for the main airport part. And then I might have to use slabs for the lower section. And then get the runway in and stuff like that. It's going to be a fun one. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. We should see you in the next episode. Bye!